Hello again, I am Blunty. Hey, regular viewers, do you remember about six months ago or so, I made a video where, amongst other things, I babbled on a bit about how, how awesome it would be if the 3DS, if Nintendo got together with YouTube and made a YouTube app for the 3DS that could not only watch videos, but watch 3D videos, and even upload 3D videos. Well, that was before the 3DS could actually do video recording. As a matter of fact, it was before the 3DS was actually launched. But now, thanks to later firmware updates, it can do video recording, and it still doesn't have a YouTube app. However, even though the PlayStation Vita launched well after the 3DS, the fine folks at Sony are indeed up with the times of what kids are doing these days, and that's watching YouTube videos and shit. Well, they just beat the house that Mario built to the punch with an official YouTube app and sitting in the store right now for the princely sum of absolutely zero dollars free. Unfortunately, it's not everything one could have hoped for. Let's take a look. If you're a regular user of the iPhone or Android apps, the general look, feel and function of the Vita's YouTube app should seem pretty familiar to you. It's pretty straightforward really. When you boot up, you hit with a list of recommended titles based on your account's viewing history and wild fucking guesswork, I suspect. Let's face it, YouTube's recommendation engine is pretty shoddy, but hey, here it is. You can search, of course, and it'll keep a list of your recent search terms, which is handy. But if you search for a specific username, instead of getting their most recent videos or their channel or something, you kind of get a mishmash of random-ass crap from them, and uh, that's um, less handy. Next slot over is your viewing history, so I guess if you like re-watching stuff you've already watched, that's, you know, there. Frankly, I think having your inbox accessible, or perhaps your subscriptions, would be handier, but you won't find any of that stuff here, or anywhere else on this app. Favorites is next, which is where you can also re-watch things you've watched before, so that's, uh, well, that's redundant. Two tabs that let you watch stuff you've already watched. I figure if you like something enough to want to be able to re-watch it, you'll favorite it anyway. So again, that history tab becomes less handy. But on the plus side of things, the viewing experience is pretty superb, thanks in large part to the pretty terrific screen on the PlayStation Vita. Tap a video and it'll load up full screen and suck in the high def version for you, so it looks as slick and crisp as humanly possible, or electronically possible I guess would be the more accurate term, but if you've got a slow connection you can just bring in the less crispy standard def version too by hitting the button. Play, pause, and scrubbing all work just fine, and you can drop into a windowed mode to slam on some thumbs up action, look at related videos, the info bar, and comments. You can leave a comment too, but sadly, just like on the iPhone and Android apps, you can't actually reply to existing comments. You can't join a conversation. You can anything, if you if you're even hoping to join in on active discussions, you can throw those hopes and dreams out the window, I'm afraid. I have no clue why. YouTube keeps slamming this limitation into their mobile apps, but it's goddamn annoying. You also can't administer your own comment section, so no flagging of spam comments, no blocking of dick wagons, and no deleting those tedious comments from racist, homophobic, cock jockey trolls. Sadly, uploading is yet another feature forever missing from the YouTube experience here. Even though the cameras on the Vita aren't all that fantastic for video recording, it is a function it can and does do simply and easily. So why can't I upload anything I create here? No little vlogs, no horrifying but hilarious skateboarding accidents, no little clips of drunken kittens walking sideways, nah. If I happen to catch here anything worth uploading on my Vita, I've got to hook it up to a computer, use Sony's atrociously crappy software to transfer the video over to the computer, then upload it using a regular browser on the computer. But let's be honest here, the vast majority of YouTube users are passive consumers of content, not active creators of content like yours truly. So the list of needs that I have, or more specifically the list of wants that I have for a YouTube application don't necessarily reflect yours. But at the very least, I think it'd be handy if not essential for an interactive medium like YouTube to be able to reply directly to other comments and join in conversations that are already happening. Being able to manage your channel, curate your comments, read your incoming messages, upload videos is stuff that may never come to mobile apps for YouTube and that's pretty fucking annoying to me. But most of you probably don't even give a crap about that, do you? You just want to watch the video, you just want to favorite the video, you just want to comment and leave a thumbs up like you should do on this video right now. Comment, favorite, thumbs up. Comment, favorite, thumbs up. Comment, favorite, thumbs up. That's the kind of stuff you want to do. That's the stuff you should be doing right now. Hint, hint, hint. 
Huh? Yeah, 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 I know. I'm not usually the kind of pathetic, needy douchebag that has to beg for comments and thumbs up in every video. But frankly, that little segue was too easy to, uh, to resist. But back to the point of this video, the YouTube player app on the PlayStation Vita is, despite being pretty much a consumption-only creature, which is, I keep repeating, kind of bugs me a bit, is actually a very nice experience. All the videos load quickly, they look and sound brilliant, mainly thanks to that big, beautiful screen that the Vita has. It is, in fact, a better experience than the mobile application on just about every mobile phone out there, mainly because of that screen. If you have a PlayStation Vita, it's well worth the download. If you're one of those people who has a PlayStation Vita but normally watches YouTube on your mobile phone when you're sitting in bed or on the couch and when someone else is using the computer or the big TV or whatever you're doing, it is a really nice YouTube experience for consumption, but not really for interaction. I know I keep hammering on this point, but, you know, it's one of the main attractions of YouTube, being able to interact. But, you know, that is really my issue, because judging by the number of views versus comments, favorites, and thumbs up that most videos get, like I said, just about everyone else out there is consumption only. Just gimme, 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 gimme more YouTube. But you really should leave a comment, thumbs up, and favorite the videos as often as you can, because that helps decent videos somehow. I don't really care that much. I'm honest. It just, you should do it anyway. Come on, do it. No, don't do it. I don't care. Mixed signals! <laughs> Thanks for watching, I am Blunty and I will catch you next time.